Hello friends, hope everyone is safe and fine in this pandemic. So today we are going to discuss the new strain and surge in cases of COVID-19. So in last few days you have noticed or you have seen in the news that India COVID cases have been increased tremendously from 1 lakh per day to 3 lakh 50 thousand per day. So what caused this such an increase in the cases? One of the reasons behind it is the development of a new strain or you can say new lineage in India that is called B.1.617 but so there are some mutations in it which makes it more dangerous and more deadly so we will see it in the next few slides so hi I am Shubhanshu so first before going in detail with the current scenario just I am giving you an overview of the past so it is an influenza pandemic which happened during the first world war or you can say after the first world war it was one of the deadliest pandemic we have faced in last two or three centuries so here more than a crore people were killed or you can died due to this pandemic so it was also came in three waves first wave was not that much stronger as compared to second and third but second one was very deadly you can see there is a i think three or fourth fold increase in the deaths as compared to first wave same you can correlate with the covid first wave was not deadly as the third so it's not virus is first time showing this behavior it has shown it in the past and do you know virus seems to be more intelligent than human beings okay we we get a method to stop the virus but they evolve they become more intelligently and come superiorly the power behind their intelligence and superiority is mutation the virus mutate at a very high rate than human cells or you can say any other cells but do you know the dna as compared to DNA viruses and RNA viruses, RNA viruses mutate much faster. So coronavirus is a RNA virus. So let's see in our next few slides how this uh, mutated virus has increased the cases in India. So first of all, this is called a double mutant, but I will tell you it's not a double mutant. It said there are 13 mutations in it, but then why it is called a double mutant? Because there are two main mutations which make this virus more deadly E484Q and L4852 okay what are they we will see in next few slides this virus was first detected in 5th October 1920 so many scientists and researchers believe that this is not only the reason why India's cases have been increased maybe because we were not following the strict precautions for covid after the lockdown and we are traveling and there are many maybe other regions that's why that's why the, there is such a rapid increase in the cases but we cannot deny the role of this mutant in india's present case because the uh, all the gisid global institute on sharing all national data receives genome and data from all over the globe and the data submitted by means the genome data submitted by India is uh, is mainly of this mute uh, this variant that is B.1.617 so more than thousands data was submitted from Maharashtra so some researchers said that since most of the data is submitted from Maharashtra not all over the India this may be the reason why it's in papers it seems that B.1.61 is behind this such an increase in the cases. But let's see what makes this mutant that deadly. So in next slide we will go to see how E484Q mutation cause this makes this virus more deadly. So this is a uh, replacement of glutamic acid to the glutamine on the 484th position of the amino acid. So hope you are aware of the structure of uh, coronavirus spike protein so it's a spike protein interacting with the ACE receptor of the host cell so it can get introduced to the host cell and infect the host cell this is a picture here in the left corner this one is a picture where I tried to show the position of 484 so it's not on the interacting part you can say here the amino acids are interacting with the receptors this is ACE receptor this is the spike protein it is outside the 
interaction of this one but it impact or you can say it it helps in the interaction but not directly interact okay so change here it is also one of the point where most of the mutations are happening over the globe so the you can say the brazil one or you can say the caribbean one both contain this mutation okay so what make this unique so for this you have to understand it's how it uh, binds to antibodies how it helps to antibody to attach to it so it it is exposed outside it is not present binding but it is exposed to outside so antibody can target it okay and most of the antibodies produced uh, produced the human against coronavirus is of IgHv5 uh, 3-5 3 so it is a kind of antibody ig hb full form is immunoglobulin heavy chain variable region 3 to 53 so if if you know the structure of antibody let me show you this is the structure of antibody here you can see in the blue is the heavy chain and uh, uh, the brown one is the light chain and this part is the variable one so this variable keeps changing Uh, so different antibody have different variable region so this variable region is come from there and you will surprised to know that about 10% of the antibodies developed against corona is of this kind so so this antibody at, uh, attacks attach the virus through uh, through static bridge sorry <laughs> so this antibody attached to the virus through salt bridge most of the antibodies interact with the antigen through hydrogen bond and hydrophobic bonds but here here the at e484 the antibody interacts with this amino acid with salt bridge bond it's a different kind of bond in which there are two covalent bond one is hydrogen bond in another is ionic bond so it is much stronger than the hydrophobic bond so when this is mutated from glutamine to glutamic acid so uh, its structure changes so i will here give you compare glutamic acid of you know the s structure of glutamine and glutamic acid glutamic acid has oh group while glutamine has nitrogen group so due to glutamine having nitrogen group this is possible when it changes to glutamic the uh, uh, salt bridge cannot be salt bridge bond cannot be formed it been antigen and antibody that's make it a weaker bond so it no more can associate as tightly as it was before with the antibody causing it to escape from the immune system that's why this the current strain which are spreading in india escape from escape from our immune system so here you hope you can understand how e484 escapes from human so coming to the next mutation here an hydrophobic amino acid has been changed to a hydrophilic amino acid this is a major change here you can say l that is leucine has been changed to allergenin which is an hydrophobic amino acid so here you can see the l452 does not directly interact with the as receptor this is the blue one is the as receptor one okay and this uh, this is the l l452 uh, it does not directly interact but it's make a hydrophobic pocket so as receptor can interact with directly with the y541 with the y41 these these are the amino acid directly interact the as receptors so changing y5501 will dramatically increase or decrease the binding with as receptor but it will have not that much effect it has certainly defect but not as strong as y501 so here there since there is change in hydrophobic to hydrophilic so hydro you can uh, think hydrophobic and hydrophilic is swapping the ma magnet if if magnet has a north pole you will swap with the south pole now when when it was attracting it it uh, it will repel it. so the same effect you can imagine the same effect happening here so when this happens earlier it was attracting nearby hydrophobic means now it will repel so this will change the conformation structure of the of this pocket so here luckily or you can say here the pocket is changed such that it now it is more tightly or more easily bind with the as receptor thus increasing the affinity or just increasing the capacity of corona virus to enter the host cell more easily as com as compared to the light one 
ओके सो नाउ कोरोना वायरस कैन इंटर द होस्ट सेल मोर इजली एज कम्पेयर टू लास्ट वन एंड दिस चेंज इन कन्फॉर्मेशन आल्सो इफेक्ट द एंटीबॉडीज टू बाइंडिंग विथ इट फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर यू कैन सी इन दिस फिगर दिस इज द ओल्ड वाइल्ड वन वाइल्ड वन इज नॉन म्यूटेंट हियर इट्स फिट टाइटली नाउ दिस म्यूटेशन हैज अकर्ड नाउ देर इज चेंज इन सेप सो हिट इट विल बाइंड बट इट विल नॉट बाइंड टू विथ दैट एफिनिटी और दैट कैपेसिटी एट वर्स अर्लियर एज रिजल्ट एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ लूज बाइंडिंग द एंटीबॉडी विल विल सॉरी द एंटीजन विल स्केप फ्रॉम द एंटीबॉडी एंड इट कैन इवेट आवर इम्यून सिस्टम एंड इट विल इवेट आवर एंड इट विल इवेट आवर होस्ट सेल एंड इट विल इवेट द होस्ट सेल so these two mutations are important one this mutation mainly result from escaping the immune system while this mutation helps from escaping the immune system as well as increasing the affinity origins increase the affinity for the receptors so corona virus can get into the body more easily so thank you so much for listening if you like this lecture please click subscribe and comment and share with your friends so before signing off i would like to leave you with a point to ponder as i told the as i told the mutation in l452 changes the conformation of uh, of the rbd domain so it should not bind at effectively with the receptor also but it binds but uh, binds with receptor effectively but not with antibody can anyone tell me how this happens in the comment box thank you